I'm Chelsea with Stryker Orthopedic Instruments, um, and I also help with the neurospine drills as well. Um, at your facility, you're actually going to have a hybrid set, so it's a little bit with podiatry, instrumentation, so small bone, ortho, and then anything neurospine that you'll need will all be in one set. Um, it will all come into this sterilization container. So there's three levels on it, so we'll have some attachments up at the top, some cords in the middle, and then um, more of the ortho side of it at the bottom of your tray. Um, I'll start with the ortho side. You're probably familiar at any other hospital or surgery center, this is called your TPS or your REM-B. Um, most people know it as TPS. We've just changed the S to an X, so it's the fancier TPX. Um, and then the hand switch is now uh, stainless steel, praise God, instead of the plastic ones for the orthopedic. So to put it together, to put the hand switch on, you're gonna find the arrow and you're gonna find this little window, a little circle right here, it's taken out. And you're gonna put the arrow in the window. So it'll slide right on, just pop right on. Your cord, this uh, metal side will throw, be thrown off to the non-sterile field. Your cord, you're gonna find your arrow. Find that arrow again in the window, line them up, and it snaps right on. The nice thing about this cord, you don't have to, the old cords you used to have to bunch together to pull apart. Um, this, when you're done, it's just simple, take right off, pull the hand switch right off. So this hand switch goes on to um, your oscillating saw and your recip saw the exact same way it goes on to your stack saw. So arrow to window, snaps right on, and then arrow to arrow, clicks right in. Your safety is gonna be on the hand switch, so it's locked right now. So if, you, if it was plugged in, it wouldn't go slide it down to unlock and you're good to go. As far as the blades, your blades are gonna have little notches in them at the, at the base. And to load your blade, you're gonna actuate the head by pushing this button at the very back. Most people think to put the blade in, you put it in this larger gap, you're actually gonna put it in that smaller gap in the front. So if you're like, why isn't this blade going in? It's actually that smaller gap right in the front and then it locks straight in. You'll hear it click. It can actually go to different, um, different sides as well, so it doesn't have to just go straight up. So if the surgeon wants to just move that at a different angle, you can. The other thing it does is if he doesn't want the saw blade right here, but he wants it face the other way, um, you can just lift the head and it'll actually turn around. So lift, turn, lift, turn, and you're good to go on that. So to take the blade out, you just push the back. Well, Problem when you hold the blade, push the back of the button, <laughs> take the, the blade straight out, um, pop your cord, pull your, your switch, and you're good to go. Um, also, on your oscillating saw, um, it takes the exact same blade as your sagittal saw. So, in order to put the blade in this one, there's no button, so you actually have to lift up on that lighter gray area, lift straight up. And same goes for this one. Instead of that thicker area, you're actually gonna go in that little space right above towards the distal end and it'll snap right in. And that blade also can rotate around however you need it. Take it out, lift straight up, blade pulls right out. The only blade I don't have are, uh, with me is that reciprocating blade, but it's super simple to load. All you do is you find that um, light gray button and when you load, you push it and just drop your recip saw right in there. Uh, let go of the button and then just give it a tug and make sure it's in good. But that's all you gotta do to unload, push that gray button, pop straight out. That one's a little easier. The sag blade is what gets more confusing with that little um, space versus the large space. Uh, you, for your universal driver, uh, the cord goes on the same way. There's no uh, hand switch on this one. So you'll just look at the arrow, arrow to arrow, snaps right in. This is your safety right in the middle. Um, so if you want it just forward or forward reverse, you can lock out the top and just go forward or you can go all the way out and do forward reverse. To oscillate, they'll just hold the top and bottom and it'll oscillate. And then safety is all the way to the right. But you can put that, it shows S for safety, F for forward and forward and reverse. Um, to put your attachments on, some people will, will push down this button, but you actually can just line up where this little notch is on your attachment, just kind of line it up in the middle and give it a little, a little 
twist straight back and it'll pop right in. To pull out, you push this button down and the attachment pops right out. So that's for any of your attachments. So kind of line it up in the middle, give a little twist, pops right in, push the button, pull right out and you're good to go. So all of these attachments with the, so your blue attachments are your drill and then your red attachment is your ream. So if they need that extra torque, lower speed, um, you can check that up and that'll be on your ream speed. So we have your drill attachments, ream. You'll notice this is your drill chuck, um, which everybody loves because it's keyless <laughs> um, and it saves a lot of time. So you'll just put, um, let me check this guy up if you want. There you go. Kind of put it in the middle, twist it. Oh, I'm doing the wrong way. There you go. Tighten it up. And then you'll see these like play button and it go towards that arrow. And it looks like it twists once. You're actually not fully tight when you just go over once. You want to hold it and give it, did you hear those extra three little clicks? Yep, and then, so now you're fully ready to go. Um, if, so if it's slipping at all, go ahead and give the, those, those extra clicks just to make sure. And then to release, you just go opposite and it comes straight out. So to tighten, tighten all the way, it goes up once. Those little clicks after and you're good to go. So if you don't get those, hear those clicks, it's not to its full tightness. But these are awesome. Y'all will love them. And then all you, as you know, your quick connects for your drill bits um, to actuate. You just pull down and slide your drill bit in. Pop straight out. And same with your Hudson modified. So you got your, your drill bit. Actuate, put down, and it locks it in place to take off. Actuate. Um, this is really cool. We actually consolidated our pin and wire collet into one. So this is a universal collet. It takes all sizes of pins and collets, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about accidentally pulling the wrong one. So it takes a, a 0.7 to a 3.2 millimeter um, all in one. And this will just go in your universal driver the exact same way. So that is simple. That is on your, on your ortho side. And then we do have a chuck key just for your, your ring. Now let me show you this J notch firm. Um, in place of like the micro drill, we have an attachment that goes on your your neurospine drill, um, and you will just line up dot to dot, which that dot's a little a little faded. There we go. Put it on the load. So you want to make sure it's on load. This hand switch instead of like the ortho where it goes under. Um, it goes over. So you'll slide this hand switch over. And you kind of have to, you'll think it doesn't fit. If you get it a, give it a little tug when you think it doesn't fit, this part actually opens up a bit and you can slide it down. So at first you're like, wait, it doesn't fit. Just give it a little push and it, it widens that, um, that hand switch for you. And then you, you just find dot to dot and it's clicked in. So you're good to go. Um, Safe and run is by this toggle. So this is on run, this is on safety. And then, so keep it on safe. Put your attachment on load. That dot, there you go, dots on load. And this takes any J notch burr. So for any podiatry, anything J notch, J notch slides straight in. You're gonna put it on run. So you just switch that sandpaper bar from load to run and then give it a tug and you're good to go. So when you're ready to run, click run and hand switch is good. This can also extend out, um, so can um, the ortho hand switch as well. You can tell the difference in the hand switches um, because the neurospine one is plastic and the dietary one is um, stainless steel. So, take it out, turn the wood. Comes straight out, so it's just a straight pull. Now, for all of your attachments for your neurospine drill, you'll see they all have a black bar on them. These are for your neurospine. It means they all take the same burr. So you'll notice, this isn't a J-notch, that's a J-notch. So the neuro burrs have these little ridges at the base. They'll also have a black band across the package, which matches this black band on your, um, on your attachment. So any of these attachments, 
can take the same bird. So even though this looks longer, this actually will fit into every single attachment. So that, that's the nice part, they're called elite burrs. So to load these guys, you want to go dot to dot, and it just slides right in. Keep it on unlock, and you'll slide your burr in. You'll kind of feel um, like a little bit of a ridge. Like I can hear the ridges, but you'll see on here, it can telescope out uh, to, five, to five millimeters. So you kind of want to see where is it at. Go until it drops, there we go. And you can either go all the way down or if you want it extended to, for further exposure, um, you can just pull it out and you'll feel those ridges as you go. Once you have it to where you're at, where the surgeon wants it, you just flip that to lock and you're ready to rock and roll. Give it a tug, you're good. Um, that's how you would load every single one of these attachments. It's the exact same way, it doesn't matter the size. Dot to dot, put it on unlock. This is the exact same burr I used for that shorter attachment. And then you'll start feeling it, the ridges go up and down. Turn it to lock, give it a tug, and you're good to go. So that's the nice, the nice part about that. I mean, unlock, the burr out, straight out. Sometimes you can switch it out. Um, this is the harder part for me. There you go. You're gonna use this like little lever right here and pull down. It's on there pretty good, so that's good. Um, so all of this, like I said, is a hybrid set, so it's gonna be in one container. It'll all go in the same core console. Um, and that's just your power box. Whatever you plug into it, the console's gonna know. So it'll say um, high drive, or it'll say satchel saw, or recip saw, oscillating. So it knows exactly what you're plugging in, and you're good to go. Um, that's the nice part. So there really isn't much on the core console that you need to know other than plugging it in. Um, and maybe the volume, if it's too loud, I can help you turn that volume down. But uh, we'll, we'll get that to that whenever the core consoles come in. But yeah, that's, that's your strength and drum. Thank you so much. You're welcome.